Hi everyone, welcome back to another Elk Finance video tutorial. I'm LT Snake Pliskin, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to install the desktop version of MetaMask on your mobile device. Now, the reason we'd want to do this is because the mobile version of MetaMask is kind of buggy sometimes. It doesn't quite work like the desktop version, and uh, you know, honestly, I prefer this version a little bit better. So. Um, before I get started, I want to mention that I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. Okay, let's get started. So I've got Android open here, uh, so we're going to be using that to install it. Uh, the only difference really here, uh, if you have an iPhone, is that you'll have to go to the App Store and install it. But uh, here what we're going to do is we're going to download uh, the Kiwi browser. So you can see it come up here, the first one, uh, by Geometry OU. This is the one we're going to install. And uh, the reason we're installing this is because it uh, basically functions like a desktop version of Chrome, which allows you to install a desktop Chrome extension like MetaMask. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to wait for this to install and then I'm going to open her up. OK. OK, so next what we're going to do is go to a web address and we're just going to search for MetaMask Chrome extension. All right, that'll come up. We'll scroll down here a little bit. MetaMask Chrome Web Store, exactly. And it'll come up here and we'll hit Add to Chrome. Uh, it's going to ask you if you want to install the extensions and uh, extension and you're going to say OK. Um, so next that will load. Okay, there, it's loaded up. So it should open a new tab uh, with the MetaMask prompts in it. Now, if it doesn't open this, uh, you can simply go to the more over here and scroll down to the bottom uh, and you can see it's here as well. So if that window doesn't pop up and anytime you need to open it, you have to go here. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, you'll notice when the first prompt comes up here, it's kind of cut off. Uh, that's because it's meant to take up the whole page, but it doesn't. So we're just going to create a new wallet, but uh, over here is import wallet. So if you have a previous wallet, which you likely do, and you want to import it to MetaMask, uh, put your seed phrase in over here and do that. So, but we're just going to go to create a new uh, for the uh, example here. And I'm going to come up with a password. Uh, going to use a password one two three please never use this password it's terrible um, and it's going to ask me to save my seed phrase and since we're uh, just doing this as an example I'm going to hit remind me later and we're going to go ahead and close that great so now you've actually got uh, a version of the desktop uh, Chrome extension in uh, on mobile which is great so uh, it might be time to get started and add add some chains so you can head on over to the other tab or uh, i like to keep that metamask tab open at all times and i'm going to head over to chainlist.org and open that up scroll down to hit connect wallet it should open a prompt for you to connect and you'd hit next and connect but it's possible that it it might not uh, in which case you'll have to go uh, over here to, to more and uh, just hit MetaMask and then it'll bring it up. Uh, and then usually when you get a prompt, you can you, you can refresh it if you don't get a prompt, sorry. All right, so we'll just open that. And uh, let's say we want to add uh, AVAX. So we'll type that in uh, and then scroll down and we'll add that to MetaMask gonna throw an error here chances are oh yeah there it is right there um, so don't worry about that that's if you click on it a couple times so you're gonna open those tabs and scroll back to MetaMask give it a refresh you're gonna approve it switch network and we're good we're on the uh, Avalanche C chain so you can do that for as many networks as you need to add like Phantom, Hiko, um, Matic or Polygon um, 
and uh, and kind of whatever you need there. So, um, and don't forget to add BSC. Uh, so then when you head over to, you know, let's say app.elk.finance, uh, we can, generally I like to switch to the desktop site mode. So I usually hit the more and hit desktop site. And I find things look a little bit better. So uh, whenever you want to connect your wallet to, to a DEX, whether it be Elk or something else, I mean, of course, connect wallet, MetaMask, it'll throw an error, but that's okay. We'll open up the tabs. Uh, we'll refresh MetaMask here. There it goes. And it adds uh, asks you here to connect your wallet. So you'd hit connect. And great. Uh, same thing goes for any transaction, actually. So let me navigate back here. Okay, so any transaction here uh, that, uh, that you'll need to make you'll uh, you'll make it uh, if I wanted to buy some elk let's say uh, with some AVAX um, let's say I, I would do one AVAX to buy some elk and I, I click to uh, swap here then uh, it's I'm gonna it's gonna make me open uh, my metamask tab here again and refresh it and I would get the prompt then to approve the transaction or not so that's the only pain here is going back and forth between the tabs uh, to refresh on MetaMask in order to get the prompt. But otherwise, uh, I hope this was helpful. It certainly causes a lot less glitches for me. And, and on my phone, uh, I, I've stopped actually using the MetaMask mobile uh, app because this is much better. Uh, you'll notice my screen flashed a few times when I was switching tabs. That's because I'm running an SDK emulator version of Android on my computer. So that that isn't uh, something that happens on my mobile. But uh, yeah, uh, so if you like this uh, video, please like and subscribe. And uh, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks.